Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're doing a one-year review of the 2021 Toyota Highlander. Okay, we're going to start looking at the uh, window sticker. So this is a 2021 Toyota Highlander uh, V6 all-wheel drive uh, XLE trim package. Um, as you can see, it's pretty pretty much base besides the all-wheel drive. Um, the actual price... Uh, on the window was 42,755 and we paid uh, 36,750. So about right under 37,000 uh, for this vehicle. Now, as far as the tech, I'm more than happy uh, with the tech for this vehicle. Um, there was an option for the higher trims to get like the bigger screen. So basically where this cuts out would, would have all been screened, um, but it wasn't worth it for me. At the time, I knew I didn't want the vehicle for that long. I kind of wanted just, you know, for one to two years. Uh, so I didn't want to spend a bunch of money there. And I figured I would stick with the things that gave me the best resale value. Uh, but one thing that I've really learned to really enjoy with the vehicle is just the uh, the digital dash here um, with all the different functions. Um, mainly, I keep it for like the MPG. I will say that that 18.2 is pretty accurate as far as the mixed MPG. Now on straight highway stretches, uh, for us going to Houston or going to Austin from the DFW, uh, I've seen it get up as high as like 25 miles per gallon. Uh, and that's if it's, you know, pretty much all highway and we're going, you know, you know, anywhere between like 65 to 75, I've seen it get up to like 25 MPG. Um, but mixed city uh, around town and stop and go, Expect to get 18.2. And when we look at the sticker, it says a combined of 23, um, which I think is extremely generous. Again, what I'm seeing is like 18.2 and it's saying 20 for the city here. So yeah, I could be a little bit of a you know quick driver, um, but I think it's pretty, pretty far off on that. So again, if you're curious about what you're going to get after a year of driving it, the vehicle's broken in, um, you know, expect to get in the city 18.2 and then on a highway in long stretches to, you know, to, you know, best case get like 25, uh, it's rare that you're going to see 27. You'd have to be going like 55 miles an hour to get 27. As far as the looks, I still love the looks of the Highlander. Even after a year, I think it's one of the best looking, uh, three row midsize SUVs out there. Um, and really what you're getting is that Toyota reliability. Um, can't, can't beat it. Uh, the reliability and the resale value. I think Toyota, that's what they're known for. Um, a big reason why we ended up getting the all-wheel drive is we had the ice storm and the DFW in 2020. And also we had it again in early 2021 after having the ice storm and kind of being stranded uh, at our house, not really being able to get out and about. We decided that, hey, we needed to get all-wheel dr drive vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles for our, our home. So that's one of the reasons why we got that. Um, the tires have been fantastic. These open country uh, Toyos are absolutely fantastic. Um, I've had to replace one tire, um, and that's because I hit a nail. So again, we're in a new neighborhood, I hit one nail. Um, but besides that, everything's good. Um, I did actually lose this piece, and we have a replacement. Uh, basically, one day the wife came home and was like, hey, you know this piece is missing. Um, but we do have the replacement that we got off of eBay. So I'll pop that on there, no big deal. Um, but that was kind of weird. Um, and whenever I started looking on forums, apparently that's something that kind of happens often. So whether it's car washes, whether it's people bumping you, um, this is just kind of a weird design. Um, and it, you know, for whatever reason, it pops off. And it's pretty common out there. If you Google, Google it, that's kind of one thing that you'll see that people talk about. That's kind of what it looks like when it's installed. For whatever reason, this piece, the design, um, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Uh, and if you look, it's basically, you know, it's a bracket one, two, three, four things that are kind of holding it there and maybe another one right there. So yeah, kind of a weird thing, but it is what it is. So some of the small touches that we've really grown to love and enjoy are having these built in uh, sun visors for the kids. So we have a three and a one year old. Uh, and just things like that uh, that Toyota thinks about makes a huge difference and really, you know, makes the vehicle more livable for the family. Um, also, the back speed space 
Uh, the space back here is, is amazing. Um, also, love the fact that the air vents are here because it blows right on the kids. Um, I've seen some other cars that have the air vents. Like, I think the Telluride and, and maybe the Volkswagen have them here which is also good, but I do prefer having the vents up top. Um, our Tesla, love the Tesla, but the vents are down here and they really don't blow that well for the kids. So the reality is that it can get kind of toasty in the back for the kids. Um, so having the vents high to me is probably the best situation. Um, if you do have adults back here, it's cool that they can control their own air so people don't have to you know, ask you Hey, change the air, air, change the air, lower it, I'm cold, I'm hot, whatever. They can do it themselves. Um, and you do have the USB uh, plugs down there. Um, but overall, I think the back is a pretty pleasant place to be. Um, the headroom, it's decent. Uh, whenever we were shopping, one of the things that we looked at was the Volkswagen Atlas. And that was basically our second choice. Uh, the headroom there was like... You know way 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 better so like you know if i have you know three inches of headroom here and the atlas it was like an extra like four inches so that's a reason why we wanted that vehicle but then we knew hey the resale value um and just that we weren't 100 percent sold on keeping it for a long time uh so yeah the resale value went over and just the fact that we were kind of really curious to to first time to go to owners uh, always heard amazing things about Toyota's quality. Um, so we were just kind of wanted to give it a try. And it's it's been amazing, but there were some things that we did, you know, feel like we had to, you know, kind of give up on to, to get it. But overall, fantastic. Okay, the, uh, the cargo space and the Highlander. Again, another reason why we picked this one. It's been fantastic for us to, you know, carry the strollers and luggage and all the stuff that, you know, required. Like sometimes we'll bring up the pack and play and a stroller plus the luggage, uh, way more than enough space, and it's a lot of space for a midsize. Um, also, third row seats have been fantastic. Uh, we've only used the third row seats, I think, twice, which is kind of funny. So once my wife, uh, she had a work trip, so her and her coworkers, they drove the Toyota from Fort Worth to Austin for like a conference and she was able to kind of get some extra coworkers in the back seat. And then once with my, when my parents were in town, I think we went down to the zoo together um, and we all kind of piled in. So it's really cool to have the third row. Um, but I will say that it's a, it's a small third row. So um, you can pull the seats up to get more space, but it is kind of small and cramped. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for like big adults uh, mainly for kids and like really petite adults you can get in the third row uh, but yeah I wouldn't necessarily want to be back there I've sat back there once just to kind of see how it felt and it was pretty tight so it is what it is um, the fact that they offer that it's awesome and the fact that whenever you do have the third row in there that it's super you know small right so it doesn't take up a lot of space so it's it's a cool bonus uh, I definitely wouldn't you know get it planning on using the third row all the time but it's cool to have it in a, in a pinch right but if you need you know permanent third row access you need to get a full size not a mid-size um, or not this mid-size um, as far as maintenance in the first year uh, really like 18 months uh, 24,000 miles no maintenance uh, only the oil changes which were free so it's they give you two years 24,000 miles of service which really since they use synthetic it's only two oil changes and the tire rotations um, so the only maintenance again was uh, the oil changes which was free uh, we had to replace the tire because we got a nail and we couldn't patch it um, and then again that piece on the other side that I talked about earlier where we have to replace so really no maintenance on the first year you really shouldn't expect to have maintenance uh, but it definitely can confirm you know no issues with maintenance quickly i want to talk about some of the modes um so sport mode does make a difference i feel like you really get to un unleash the v6 in sport mode normal mode's cooled and eco it's kind of like by the default um, so again, around town, eco is perfectly fine or like on, on highway speeds, if you're just cruising uh, and you find like a good, you know, place with, without traffic and you can find a good, you know, opening without people around you, eco mode's what I go to. Um, I'm normally, of course, 
I'm always in, you know, normal mode. I've used mud and sand on the land. So there's, I think one time I went to the land that we have to go shooting uh, and I kind of got, it was like, it was like it rained a little bit. So I did put it in like mud and sand because it was like pretty muddy. Uh, and it basically kind of uh, it calibrates the tires and it kind of like manages the torque to get you there. So that works great. Um, the snow, um, the one time earlier in 2022 when we actually had some ice in the roads, it did use the snow mode and that, that worked. Um, as far as turning the auto off and on, um, it bothers me, but I always forget to turn it off. And by the time I remember to turn it off, it's, you know, green light again. So I wish that we could just keep, you know, turn it off once and keep it off. But I understand uh, the regulators and the, how it's done. So, so again, um, as far as the driving, it's, um, to me, the driving is, is it's great, uh, Pretty, pretty sporty, pretty impressive. Uh, one thing that, that my wife and I, we've both said in this Toyota is that, you know, oh crap, you end up going faster than you realize. That's how smooth, smooth it is, right? So you're just going and then you look down and oh, the speed limit's 65 and you're going 85. And that was the, uh, the lane, so you can kind of see it. I'll show you that, guys. If I drift out of the lane, it was kind of like warning me like, hey, you know, stay in the lane. But yeah, um, multiple times I've found myself going a lot faster than I realized. Um, so, and I, I think it's what it is. It's it's one, the car is fast and quick, but two, it's built really well. And the, and the quality of the vehicles, you know, to me, it's top notch. So it just kind of like floats. So you end up, you know, at a really fast speed, you don't even know it. So like, while some cars at like 75, 80, it's, you know, getting like bumpy and, you know, you're feeling the wind, you don't feel that here. So like you end up going, you know, 85, sometimes even faster and you're just, you're just, you're just cruising along and then you look down and you're like, oh yeah. So, uh, you know, we've both experienced that and I have a couple coworkers at, at work and we've kind of talked about it too. Like, oh, you got a Highlander, I got a Highlander too. Like, have you noticed that you end up going faster than you realize? Like, yeah. Um, so to me, again, that's a testimony to just the overall build quality of the vehicle. Um, uh, again, it really reminds me of a luxury vehicle, the way it rides. Um, I think this XLE trim, for, for what it is, like you can see on the higher trims, you're gonna get like stitching, uh, but, but to be like a moderate, you know, like this is like a middle-class trim, right? Um, I think it's like one from the lowest. So there's like one lower, which looks super basic. But this one, uh, the fact that you get the, I guess the little the false leather seats really kind of brings it in. And really, to me, the seats are great um, and the quality is great. Uh, the, way it's, the way it's set up in the all reality, uh, especially with those small kids who are always like spilling stuff, uh, it makes it a lot easier to clean up. And with cloth seats, they'd probably stain pretty quick. Um, and I'm learning that, you know, in my journey of fatherhood, that having seats that are easy to wipe off, you know, makes a huge difference and, you know, just saves drama at the house. So what I want to do is I kind of just want to gush, let you guys hear some of the, the road noise and I'm going to get up on the highway. I'm just going to take one exit because I do have to put some gas in, in the Highlander. Um, but I want you guys to kind of like get a feel for it as much as you can on camera, what it's like to, to be behind the wheel. Yeah, this thing is smooth, no hesitations, it just, it just goes. I've never been in a situation where I felt like I needed more power, which again, to me, it's a testimony to just the, the quality of, you know, the vehicle the engineering and the, just the, the balance of the 300 horsepower and uh, the transmission and the suspension. Overall, guys, the one-year review of the Highlander, I mean, it's pretty uneventful. Uh, everything works the way it's supposed to work, and it's good quality. That's what Toyota's known for, and, and definitely we'll be looking to, uh, you know, get other Toyotas in the future because we've definitely sold 
uh, on Toyota as a manufacturer and love the vehicle and highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this quick review of the one year, uh, really 18 months, 24,000 mile review of the Toyota Highlander. Hope, hopefully you liked it. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, sub the channel. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and have a good day.